Today I want to talk about Teams Rooms device management. <clears throat> Our options today are obviously Teams Admin Center. So for example, on my Windows devices, I can come in here, I can select my device, I can see uh, that it's healthy, I can uh, download the logs, so they're the Microsoft Teams Rooms logs. I can restart the device and refresh any details. I can see that everything is connected and healthy, and if I unplug something, that will go offline. Well, let's just do that now. Let's uh, unplug a cable. Why do I do these live demos? So I've unplugged a USB, so I think it's uh, the meetup. And we'll see that uh, go offline in a second and obviously have an impact. So what else can we do here? We can actually set up alerts for this as well through our notification and alerts down the bottom here. Set a roll up and we can give that to a web hook or alert to a Teams channel. So when something goes offline, it will get alerted. Then we have uh, Android platforms. So for example, I'll select a device here. I can see that the touch console is connected. Up the top here, again, I can bring down the logs. I can update the firmware, something you can't do on Windows. I can restart the device. And when I restart this device, it restarts the, the touch controller as well. And refresh the details. I can see its status is non-urgent. And that's because it's uh, looking that I have an update for the neat firmware, for example, here. Uh, the Teams app version, that, that is decoupled from the neat firmware. It is the latest out of the box uh, GA version. When Microsoft release a new version, for example, when we get update one, hopefully this quarter, it may not need a neat update. It could just update the Teams app itself, so you can get it quicker. And then we have details of the device that we can on the Windows. We see the IP address and any call and details are there. And also when a device was restarted, for example. Let's just jump back here to my uh, Windows device. What do we see? And we can see that the room camera is disconnected, so it's now critical. Obviously, you can't have a meeting. And again, you can change the health impact, what you think if something is disconnected. So obviously, something like the camera, mic and speakers are really critical devices and obviously get alerts. Now, that is the room systems. That's what we've had the option for. Again, on the Android platform, we can do some configuration uh, through a configuration profile. Now, not everything is enabled in here, for example. Uh, we can't enable guest join. That's not available yet through the platform here. You have to do it physically on the device. And then, for example, on the Windows device side, we can then, you can configure some things with the XML. So in the top corner, actions, I can edit the settings and push some of the features here. For example, I can turn on uh, direct guest join, etc. on here. So some differences uh, on that between Windows and Android. However, we have the Pro Portal, which is now included in your uh, Microsoft uh, Pro license. Uh, $40 per month. It used to be the Teams Rooms uh, Managed Room Services, MMR, uh, or Teams Room. Uh, used to have a management uh, people behind it, but now it's all self-service. And actually, you can see what's new. We have the Android is now supported in the Pro Portal. You can now enroll the Android devices and touch consoles, which will appear in the room pages. Now, the good thing is you don't have to do anything. They automatically enroll. Uh, signals will show the health and healthy, uh, reporting and connectivity, so online, offline. So, again, details of the OEM agent, etc. We'll go through all this in a second, and they'll also include it in the usage reports. So that's uh, handy to have. Uh, and also in the Pro Portal, so we used to have enrollment keys. Uh, that won't be needed anymore. All devices attempted to connect with the system must pass license validation. So again, it's going to use now the license that is assigned to the device and then it will appear on the platform and then talking about the new update for windows which was you know is the new version that's going to get a very similar look and feel to the android actually so we can come in here uh, and look at our incidents and we can see that you know on our device there is some microphone and camera issues uh, so again you can uh, address these uh, people can look at resolved it tickets that have been automatically closed maybe and also you get email alerts on here as well well i do anyway uh if there's a problem i get an alert to say you know microphone is disconnected so now we can see all my android rooms are here as well so let's pick a device uh our pro one should we say and we can see that everything is connected now you would expect that in a for example a neat bar uh, unless someone's been handy with a screwdriver and a solder iron and disconnected uh, some features. So, um, yeah, you know, in a all-in-one device, everything should be healthy. When we go into the settings, we can see its IP address, 
its uh, app version and the device name, etc., model, serial number. So exactly what we can see in actually Intune and what we can see in TAC as well. Activity, so we can collect the logs from there. Actions, again, restart the device. So this will restart the pad and the bar, should we say. And again, all uh, call history uh, data can be obtained from here as well. So that's all in the Pro Portal. We can suppress signals and obviously uh, unenroll, but why would you want to do that? So that's our device in uh, 01. Here's our touch console that matches it as well. So again, IP address details of the device. It's running on its version and any logs there. Basically really giving you that overall dashboard of what's healthy, uh, unhealthy uh, in your platform. My unmonitored devices, they are basic or standard licenses. That's why we're seeing them in there. They're not running the pro license uh, like some of these devices are. And what else can we see? I did see in here, I think, I did have it reloaded earlier. Uh, it had some data and that's not appearing now, typical uh, in a live demo. And also reports, that's now loaded. That wasn't loading earlier. But we can see, you know, how many devices and how many tickets uh, have been opened, uh, what are the most problematic devices and uh, the most reliable rooms as well. So you can see uh, Android is most reliable, Windows is the least reliable. You know, things being able to disconnect from a room system, which is obviously why the Pro Portal was born to help try and manage that there. Updates, so now we can, uh, can see what's happening, what's rolling out. Uh, our rooms, what rooms and what ring they're on. And this is one of the best features of the Pro Portal, is define a ring. So an executive floor, for example, you want to defer that as much as possible uh, before it gets rolled out while you do your testing in your labs. Now, if I jump back to Android, we've had this for a while. We've had this with tags. So we've been able to tag devices so you can group devices. And then when we run our updates, we can defer by 90 days, for example. That's always been in there for Android devices. So whether it's a phone, room, panel, display, that update ring has been there for Android. So this is really helpful for Windows devices, but obviously now you can group your Android devices too. Another nice feature here in the Pro Portal is your sort of room standardization and being able to see obviously what accounts, where they are, they're all resource accounts, but standardization, for example, I've got a small meeting room. What's your global standard on there? So you can click on there, you can see a small room, is it published to all different buildings? And I've selected, <clears throat> obviously, a neat device, a bar and pad, its size, capability, what consumables you might need on top of it. So it gives you a nice uh, look and feel there on having global standards as well. What else do we have? Our inventory, being able to see all our devices uh, in locations. And then some settings. So again, one of the good things about the Pro Portal here is that integration to service now. So if you want to have tickets automatically created, you can do that from here. And again, also allowing partners to come and manage your devices as well. As well as setting up roles and resources for different people. Uh, so again, a nice option to have everything here uh, in one dashboard. So really that's giving you that one pane of glass to look at all your room systems. Now, this still doesn't include your Teams displays, your panels outside the room, you still have to use Teams Admin Center for that. So today, as you can see, we have some limited functionality, but it gives you that central pane of glass look and feel that you can get uh, everything from here. Uh, and again, you can see my Windows device, it's missing the camera as I have unplugged that. Uh, and then once I plug that back in, that will then be good to go. So what's missing? You know, there are some features, obviously, you know, within Teams Rooms and Android, I can do that configuration profile. That cannot be done yet from the Pro Portal. Uh, it's more about, is the device online or offline? Being able to see it, uh, capture any data that you wanted to you know, run analysis on, on our version mismatches, you can do that from there. But also the usage report. So that will be handy when you're looking at your overall rooms. Are they all uh, online and uh, are they in use? Which is key, you know, you've deployed devices, spent some money on them, you wanna make sure uh, they are in use. And if we look at the usage here, you'll see 11, new, 11 unused rooms. So, uh, you know, you can check all that data now. So this is really powerful, having all this data now in one place, rather than having to build it up yourself. But just quickly before I go, another feature, uh, again, for example, from Neat, is being able to manage it from the forthcoming Neat device platform. So for example, this is Neat Pulse. I can then look at a device, drill into a device. I can add a picture, for example, to see what's happening. I can reboot the device, reboot the room, so I can re reboot the scheduling pad outside the room as well. Then also I can click on the device again, similar things, see the network uh, address. Uh, I have profiles, you know, set in time, language, etc. on there. 
but also I have a really nice feature being able to remotely control and here I have the ability to fully manage and uh, support someone so for example if someone says I don't have a join button for my meeting well you can dive into the neat pulse look at the uh, far end controller and you know you can say okay you haven't made a teams meeting so you're not able to do that uh, but also you have the ability to say for example start a whiteboard if you want to help and assist someone or concierge you can start that meeting start that whiteboard for them uh, fully remotely from here so full two-way communication with that uh, controller in the center of room and also if you did have for so I have the ability, for example, to click on a neat frame and then help someone remotely and support them. So access to the device, being able to see if there's a problem, has a, someone made a reservation, for example. So I have that ability fully here to support them on there. So a really nice tool to help that remote administration or finish off any setup. So for example, you want to enable direct guest join on that device, then you're able to do that through here. So Neat Pulse coming soon. It's not to take over uh, Teams Admin Center or to take over Pro Portal. It's adding that extra layer of manageability to your devices. Uh, because one thing you're able to do, for example, similar to that you can do a Pro Portal, is in your users, you can define that an admin has certain rights to certain sites, for example. So you don't have to give everyone full access to the tenant. Uh, and again, using SSO with the Azure AD uh, identity, for example, you're able to give people different roles and rights in here as well, as long as with a, a full audit log uh, and also all that profiles you want to set up for each region. So coming soon, Neat Pulse, very, very soon from the Neat team. There we have it. That is our overview of our Teams Rooms devices and how to manage the room devices and how obviously have all this dashboard and data in one place. And again, more things to come, I guess, on the Android, being able to configure things uh, from the product. Thanks very much. Any questions, let me know.